All right, let's continue. Okay. Um, let's create a sphere. Very simple one. Make sure it's a polygonal sphere. And create a description. And we're just going to create a spline with randomly and using attributes. Just create. Okay. In the primitives, we have a few options here, which I believe not so many are in the primitive attributes. Uh, maybe a couple of three options are very useful and the others are not as uh, used as the others. For example, the generic primitives, um, yeah, this is not something new. We talked about that in the first section. Um, we can change it to this is randomly you can change it to uniform as you can see it will be um, perfectly aligned straight horizontally and vertically so this is it you can change it to specify location and we'll get a new option which is called primitive locations and you can specify locations for example here those are specify four locations and just save and uh, we get four so it is almost the same um as before so let's just go back to randomly even if i change to randomly i still get the points so when next time i go to specify location i'll get no warning saying that there's no specify location now i have it so um okay this is one thing let's we'll go back to randomly we have seed. This is very useful when you copy um, description or duplicate the description. Um, it will be exactly the same location and exactly the same. But if you change the seed, we'll get two description with the same setting but different variation. Okay. So for example, if I change the seed to one here, I'll get a different uh, one. And if I change it to some, let's just change it to something like. 2.2 maybe 0.02 so this is the the points i have if i change the seed so i'll get the same number of um, primitives but in different locations so if i change it to back to zero as you can see the position will snap to somewhere else on the surface this is really useful can change to flip inside you can see it is very self-explanatory if i if i am inside the sphere if i choose flip inside and checked nothing inside but it's outside if i change it to flip inside i'll get the same location but inside this um this sphere okay okay this is very self-explanatory density it will change the number okay increasing the number it will increase the the uh, change increasing the density it will increase the number of the uh, primitives and if i change it to something like 0.1 it will decrease it quite a lot so this is the how much do you want or how this you want you can control it from this by using this slider very simple this is the mask it is the, i believe this is the most uh, beside the density uh, this is the most uh, useful option in this section which is which i'm trying to show you now in the mask section we have to select this this trend this upside down triangle and after left click on it choose create map you can specify the map resolution if you it doesn't matter how much do you do you put there um, it's just only for the viewport purpose and you will be safe from stairs stepping okay with if it is low resolution let's just go with five and just create and usually white. Uh, 
I, I don't be okay. Okay, and now if I go to the tool setting here, okay, um, it is very simple. Just double click here. We go go to the tool setting. And you are, I'm gonna paint it in black where well, black conceals hides the the the, the 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 primitives. Okay, so if I paint it in black, well, it is even not black, but consider it is black. Okay, this time it's black. Yes, I don't know why the first time was not black. And if I refresh it. I'm supposed to have no uh, primitives in that area. Let me, I'll explain to you why do I have primitives. Let's just do it in a bigger area. Okay. If I choose refresh, still I have it. Let's just change the intensity to something like 10. Okay, I still have this okay this is because of this is a ptx a ptx map and this map is not been saved yet so we have to save it click on the save button okay that's it now we don't have as much primitives as we have in the white area but what if i want to eliminate all the um all the here or all, all the primitives completely in that case you should not use soft brush you should use a perfectly hard brush so in this case I'm just using this this is a completely hard brush and we can just make the surrounding area and get rid of this smooth boundary after that if I choose save it's we still have a little but if I just move over paint it we should have less and now even less Now it is completely um, no primitives, completely removed, and it is it. It is so. And what if you want to use this mask to paint primitives instead of removing? You have to first use the flood section instead of white, change it to black, and flood paint to save now there is no primitives whatsoever then instead of painting with black let's paint it with completely white make sure the value is one and the saturation is zero the hue is also zero so if you can just you can choose oh my god we just change it back to black you can use um change it back to white can use B to change the brush size. Okay, make sure not B and the um, middle mouse. You can increase the brush. In this case, I'm just gonna use a small brush. Okay, choose flood again. Now look at this. If I wanted to have something like an eyebrow, some okay, I'm drawing with mouse, so it's not easy. You shall see it. We have a few stairs stepping just because of the resolution of the map. If we used a high resolution, we will have less stair stepping. For let's just use a less um, use a high resolution map, just create map. In this case, I'm just choosing 15, three times higher. Choose save. And 
choose flat. Look at this. Make this higher in resolution. We still have some stair stepping, but it's definitely higher. And we can we have to save it. And we only have um primitives in those areas. So if if we increase to something like uh, 50 okay this is what we have it's a little let's just change it to something like 500 and with a length of 0.1 maybe mm, okay 0.1 with 200 and the width of something like 0.1 fully tapered so we this this is what we have got it's really short change to 0 0.5 so we can get something even the width is a little bit too much maybe 0 0.05 so here we go okay we can add a mustache and a beard <laughs> using the same technique. Let's just what if I want to add more? For example, I want to add some mustache to this. Uh, you can see that this is a face. All you need to do now, okay, click on this icon. Now we'll be back to the brush. Okay, I'm not happy with this grid. Let's just hide the grid for now. And then we can add a mustache some funny mustache like that so so some beard and you can change the brush size and add some beard here as well Okay, so all you need to do now just press on save. Just save it and select with the select tool. And we created a some funky um face, okay, funny funny face with uh this is just the the mask, okay? Okay. And if you want to have some Okay, you use it randomly, but what if you wanted to, okay, be random, but to have some um, primitives in some sp very specific location? Okay, you may wonder, okay, what about using this specific, specific location? If you use that, you will remove the, if you use that, you will remove the, the, the all the hair, okay? You only have it in the specific location. But if, uh, what if I want to have this? May you want to, okay, what about creating a new description? No need for that. We have the option. All you need to do now is just go more primitives, add to specify points. Then you can specify the points. And press on save without removing anything we added some more and the beauty thing is we can still control it using the same primitive attribute parameters because it's the same description perfect so this is that, that option another option is the comp compensate normal and compensate for an even parameterization if I remove it compensate normal you can see a slight change appears okay and the compensate for an even parameterization also if I ch click on it so many here will disappear okay I just unselect it 
this is they're not I'm, I haven't used them so much but um, this is just to average the The, the, the primitives along the normal and this one is to average the the primitive is based on the, the the size of the polygons okay let me show you this um in another example this compensate for an even parameterization even and then compensate for normal and a much clearer example okay so what to do Go to the outliner window outliner and delete this one so we left with the sphere and create a new description everything at the default if I just unselect it as you can see they will move slightly based on the normal of the surface okay trying to compensate with the high and the low normal and average them out so by default is on which is something i recommend but if you think the look they're not doing well you can play with it maybe you can get a good result okay so that's it but the point is here is as you can see it is almost distributed um, equally along the surface if I choose compensate for an even parameterization doesn't change so much but if we increase this the density as you can see those area with the smaller size polygons let me just show you they will increase more than the area with less with bigger size polygon okay so if you have very large size polygon with a very small size polygon and you want to to somehow average them or compensate you can see since it has been compensated so there is no need to uh, that will not go even even if I go went further I will not get um, more primitives but I have to create uh, a new map okay then if I refresh it um, I'll get it for every single area include the smaller areas okay I haven't used that so much and I'm not saying it is useless it is useful but not as much in my opinion not as much useful as uh, the mask and the density and the seed I think these three are the most useful uh, useful beside the more primitives at this is also another uh, useful option but the other this is a use this is used by default and okay let's just turn this guy off you can see if i turn this off um, the, the, the the density on the top will reduce okay a little bit um so this is it this is useful for a surface of a polygonal surface with the with an even uh with an equal not equal um uh, polygon sizes okay one polygon is very big one the other one is small so you want to uh, distribute the primitives along all the polygons equally um, but the smaller size should have more uh, than the bigger size okay okay you can use this compensate for an even parameterization in that case okay okay and also according to the help file which shows here um it is it, it really explains that redistribute the parameters in area where the distribution is uneven okay and also for the normal i use i found this useful 
for faces when um, when there are faces in okay uh, if I just check this and increase this a little bit uh, I will um, hide the face in uh, <clears throat> in those areas okay all right